Please remain standing. Well, congratulations, you made it. We're all very proud of you. I'm pleased to introduce Jessica Calderon, a class of 2004 business administration transfer student who will sing the Star Spangled Banner. Jessica will be also assisted by Catherine O'Barra, Artist Chapman, class of 2004 of the Deaf Studies program. They will perform the national anthem in American Sign Language. Jessica. Thank you, President Sabrega. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars of the perilous fight or oh, the ramparts we washed were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Yes, again, Calder. Thank you. You can please be seated. <laughs> On behalf of the Bristol Community College Board of Trustees, the faculty, staff, and the class of 2004, I am pleased to open the 37th Annual Commencement Exercises of Bristol Community College. I'd like now to introduce the platform party, and I'll ask them to stand to be recognized. To my left, Dr. Irving Fratkin, the honored recipient of Bristol Community College's Distinguished Citizen Award. <laughs> Mr. Richard B. Wolfson, Chair of the Board of Trustees. Mr. Carl Cruz, Secretary, Board of Trustees. David Feeney, Executive Dean. To my right, Mr. Robert Bogan, member of the Board of Trustees. <laughs> Stephen Ozog, Dean of Enrollment Services. <laughs> Zelma Braga, member of the Board of Trustees. <laughs> the Honorable Edward M. Lambert, Jr., Mayor of the City of Fall River. <laughs> Ms. Nancy Fraze, Professor of Modern Languages and Grand Marshal of the Academic Procession. Jason Brilliant, student trustee and member of the class of 2004. <laughs> Mr. Arthur Paul, alumni trustee, board of trustees. <laughs> Stephen Kenyon, dean of administration. <laughs> Paulette Howard, assistant professor, clinical laboratory science and MCCC president. Second row, Mr. Roy Ashton III, valedictorian and member of the class of 2004. 
Patricia Zyskowski, President, Bristol Community College Alumni Association, Class of 1973. <laughs> Jessica Calderon, Student Senate President, Member of the Class of 2004. <clears throat> Thomas Murray, Member of the Board of Trustees. <clears throat> Dr. Gerald Magnin, Retired Professor of Mathematics and Grand Marshal of the Academic Procession. Veronica McConnell, retired professor of mathematics. <laughs> Susan Bozzano, assistant dean for developmental education. <laughs> Maureen Sylvia, dean of resource development. <laughs> Edgar McGarvey, retired professor of social science and government. John Tormey, Assistant Professor of Psychology, last lecture presenter. Rhonda Gabovich, Dean of Institutional Research, Planning and Assessment. Michael Vieira, Assistant Dean for Business and Information Management. Deborah Lawton, Assistant Dean for Language, Humanities, and the Arts. Cameron Dixon, Assistant Dean of Academic Affairs. <laughs> Raymond LaVertue, Assistant Dean for Behavioral and, so and Social Sciences. <laughs> Christy Verissimo, Student Senate Vice President and member of the class of 2004. <laughs> Dr. Derek Manns, Assistant Dean of Academic Affairs. Dr. Hope Burns, Assistant Dean for Health Sciences. I would also like to introduce and thank our two American Sign Language interpreters, Ms. Sandra Ligren and, Ms. and Mr. Sean Cornelson. It is my pleasure now to introduce a man who has been very supportive of education in this city and very supportive of Bristol Community College, the Mayor of Fall River, the Honorable Edward M. Lambert, Jr. Congratulations all. And this community and this region is very, very proud of this college and its graduates. Today we celebrate as you begin a new phase in your life. You have the opportunity to take the degrees that you receive here today and make your communities better places to live. And we know that each and every one of you will do that. Bristol Community College is a tremendous asset to this region. With Dr. Sprague's leadership, the entire staff and faculty here have spent the last couple of years investing their time and energy in you and your quality of life. But each and every one of you made a very important decision to come to school to make the best of the talents and the, the abilities that you bring to this institution. We applaud you today. This is your party, it's your celebration, and we know that you will leave here on the road to success in a very positive way. God bless you all, and thank you very much for being here. Thank you, Mayor Lambert, and thank you for your support. I would now like to recognize our faculty and staff. Faculty, you have heard me say many times that you are the most important part of this institution. A college is only as good as its faculty. I reemphasize that sentiment today as a rededication of my commitment to you and a promise to you of the support and affirmation for your glorious efforts by everyone else at the college. Your creativity informs your teaching. Your enthusiasm for learning infects your students. You teach and you inspire. As Wordsworth so eloquently described it, what we have loved, others will love, and we will teach them how. Please recognize at this time the BCC faculty and professional staff whose fine teaching and support have made this commencement possible for the graduates. Faculty, would you stand? Faculty and staff, please stand.
Thank you. I would also now like to pay special tribute to members of the faculty and staff who have rendered many years of devoted service to BCC and who are retiring during this academic year. Please stand and remain standing as I call your name. With 35 years of service to the college, Eugene Arcasey, Professor of Child Care, Lillian DeRocher, Librarian, Nancy Fraze, Professor of Modern Languages, Arthur Lothra, Professor of English, Gerald Magnan, Professor of Math, Joseph Murphy, Professor of English. 35 years of service to the college. Thank you. <laughs> 34 years of service to the college. Daniel McComb, Professor of Biology. Victor Zeller, Professor of Physics. 34 years of service to the college. 32 years of service to the college, David Ward, Dr. David Ward, Professor of Biology and Chemistry. David, please stand. 30 years of service, Lois Shea, Professor of Nursing. 29 years of service, Nancy Borges, Technical Assistant. Carol Dempsey, EDP Entry Operator. Stand up. <laughs> Bob Henrik, plumber and steam fitter, 29 years of service to the college, thank you. 24 years of service, Mary Swidey, professor of reading. 21 years of service, Pauline Leduc, professor of office administration. 20 years of service, Joan Almeida, professor of psychology, John Majka, professor of engineering technology. 19 years of service, Cynthia Hahn, Assistant Dean, Associate Dean for Academic Affairs. 18 years of service, James Amaral, Steam Maintenance Fireman. With 13 years of service, Nancy Davis, Campus Police Officer. 10 years of service, Richard Moore, Math Skills Specialist. Seven years of service, Odilia Colander, typist. Five years of service, Julie Enright, career specialist. Four years of service, Elizabeth Palter, director of grants. People who have contributed to the college over these many years deserve our recognition and we're very grateful for your contributions. Thank you. I would also like to pay special tribute to our Bristol Community College Foundation. These dedicated people have volunteered their time and talent and treasure to provide increasing support annually for scholarships, textbook loans, capital funds, and campus grants for equipment, special projects, and professional development. This has been a particularly challenging year for the college <clears throat> and our foundation, in fact, it chokes me up that this has been such a, <clears throat> and our foundation has provided invaluable support. Will the members of the foundation board of directors who could be with us today please stand? And that includes Dean Maureen Sylvia. It is now my pleasure, my pleasure to introduce Mr. Richard Wilson, Chairman of the Board of Trustees. Each year, under the laws of the Commonwealth, a student trustee elected by the student body joins the Board of Trustees. We've worked with very many capable people as student trustees over the years. I must say that in my entire experience on the Board over the last eight years, no one has shown more energy and enthusiasm for the responsibility or taken the time needed for the work than has Jason Brilliant. He has been a very active and vocal participant in all of the board's meetings, discussions, and decisions. Finally, Jason is the only student trustee I know of who has his own office and his own office hours. And that's more than the board of trustees can say. 
Those of us who've worked with Jason over the past year know he is someone on the way up, on the way to a great future. Jason, please accept our token of thanks. Members of the platform party, my colleagues on the faculty and staff at Bristol Community College, families, friends, and graduates, and especially members of the graduating class of 2004, congratulations. We are all very proud of you and your considerable accomplishments. You now form part of the intellectual great chain of being that has been forged throughout the ages. Community colleges are commonly referred to as two-year colleges, but I wonder how true that really is. Would, I would like to ask all of the graduates to please rise, and then I'll ask some questions of you. Would you all please rise? Would all of the graduates who actually completed their academic goal in just two years please sit? Would all of the graduates who completed in three years please sit? Would all the graduates who completed in four years please sit? Five years. Five to ten years. There are still people standing. Would everyone who's completed their degree within 15 years please sit? <laughs> Would you raise your hand under 20 years? Under 25 years. All right. Oh, still standing. Oh, my goodness. Why don't you shout it out for us? How long? 30 years. 30 years. Twenty and twenty-five and thirty years. <laughs> well, you can understand why I get a little upset when people refer to us as a two-year college. Now, how many of you, just raise your hand if you would, how many of you work full-time or part-time while pursuing your studies here? Wow. Okay, how many have one child? At, at least one child. How many have at least two children? Wow. How many have three children? How many have four children? How many have five children? Five daughters. Five daughters. He deserves a special award. Five? More than five? Nine children. Nine with boys in there may equal the five girls, I'm not sure. Nine children, that's wonderful, that is amazing. How about uh, any grandparents raise your hand? Grandparents, look at the, the hands go up. 
great grandparents. Great grandparents, anybody? Okay. As you can see, it is a misnomer to describe community colleges as two-year institutions. It is also erroneous to use graduation rates as a key indicator to evaluate a community college. I must tell you that there are some people in this world that want to penalize community colleges because graduates take more than two or maybe three years. But uh, as you have seen, we have success here, and we're very proud of that success. <laughs> Many of our students come to Bristol Community College with goals other than degree attainment. In addition, approximately 85% of BCC students work full-time or part-time while attending classes, and therefore never attend to complete a full degree program in two or even three years. Community college students who have the goal of earning a degree or certificate and actually do so, irrespective of the amount of time on duty, deserve our highest praise, not criticism. Instead of emphasizing and overemphasizing beat the clock time frames, that we should rejoice in these considerable accomplishments. Here are wonderful examples of student success. Just imagine their persistence and dedication. What formidable hurdles they have to overcome to attain their goals. Let's celebrate their achievements. We're very proud of you. Thank you. <clears throat> Throughout your career here at BCC, you have found what I have found, namely that BCC is a premier learning institution, a place where students come first, and a place full of people dedicated to student success. I am sure that you would want the opportunity to express your appreciation to the faculty and to the staff at Bristol Community College who have played such a vital role in your success. You will be carrying them and BCC with you the rest of your life. I have paid tribute to the faculty and staff here who have promoted your progress. But there is another group to honor today, your family and friends. They have served also as colleagues in learning in providing an indispensable nourishing reservoir of support which helps sustain you through the personal, professional, and academic challenges that you encountered. I'm sure that you occasionally, you tested the limits of their limitless support. I know you agree with me that today is a very appropriate time for you to express your gratitude to those family members and friends. I want you to know that we too, and also to those family members and friends, I want you to know that we too at BCC thank you for supporting our students. Please know that we consider you also members of our BCC family. And yet there is another group that rejoices with you and for you. Our community, particularly symbolized here today by the presence of Mayor Lambert and the presence of several community leaders. Your education brings great value to the community. As educated citizens able to make informed and ethical choices, you have an important role to play in this society, which is in such dire need for people to point the way and uphold values. But in the end, you are the cause for our celebration. The ultimate responsibility lay with you, and you succeeded admirably. We take great pride in your accomplishment, and if I can impress upon you one thought today, it is that your learning must continue throughout your life. The incredibly complex society that we live in, this global society, makes ceaseless demands upon you. Lifelong learning must become a routine process in your lives. Eric Hoffer, the 20th century American philosopher, pointed out that in times of change, the learners inherit the earth, while the learned find themselves beautifully equipped to deal with a world that no longer exists. No matter what your current level of skill and competency, you must continue this lifelong quest, not only for the noble purpose of learning for its own sake and the quest for truth and the eternal verities, but also in more immediate terms concerning your ability to earn a living and to live a productive life. For the world continues to change at a rapidly accelerating and dizzying pace. You must keep up for your own good and for the good of the society. We meet in a time of international turmoil, a global foreboding further complicated by the domestic disquietude of a presidential election year. America needs you in these tumultuous times. Bristol Community College has prepared you to fulfill your civic responsibility. In doing so, you each augment the inner, solid inner core of citizenry 
the backbone that has helped build this great country. This commencement day recognizes a great accomplishment. However, please remember that it also marks a great responsibility that you use your education to practice good citizenship, to promote the general welfare, and to work for social justice. As you pursue this heroic purpose, always keep in mind the words of this Holocaust uh, survivor who said, I saw gas chambers built by civil engineers, children poisoned by educated physicians, infants killed by trained nurses, women and babies shot and burned by high school and college graduates. I am suspicious of education. Can you see how these moving words describe our larger purpose at Bristol Community College? Finally, there is another image that I should like to leave you with as you depart BCC and move into the future. Poet William Butler Yeats wrote, I, being poor, have only my dreams. I have spread my dreams under your feet. Tread softly, because you tread on my dreams. As you move into that future, please carry our banner with great pride. We at BCC are very proud of you and your accomplishments. This great institution has prepared you, not with all the knowledge that you will ever need, but rather with the appreciation of knowledge itself, the learning process, and an understanding of all that remains yet undone. As you move on from Bristol Community College, take with you that understanding and use all that you have been given to make this world a better place. Please know that we always stand here ready to provide assistance to you. You have our very best wishes and warmest congratulations. Good luck to you. Thank you. It is now my honor and pleasure to present the President's Award, known as the Mason Shield, which is presented each year to a graduate who has rendered the highest quality service to the college and who has demonstrated outstanding leadership. The name of the recipient is inscribed on a plaque which is located permanently at the college. I am pleased to present the President's Award to Jason Brilliant, Business Administration Transfer of Fall River. Jason was elected by the student body to serve as a student trustee this year. An honor student, Jason has earned a scholarship to Bryant College, now to be Bryant University. During his BCC career, Jason served in internships for Senator Joan Menard and for Mayor Edward M. Lambert, Jr. He participated in this year's alternative spring break mission in Honduras and has volunteered his services at the Fall River Soup Kitchen. Ladies and gentlemen, Mason Shield winner, Jason Brion. I'm also very pleased to recognize a number of our graduates who received transfer merit scholarships from a number of area colleges and universities. Would all the graduates who have received transfer merit scholarships please stand. We offer you our heartiest congratulations. All the scholarship winners. <clears throat> congratulations, thank you. Each year at our commencement exercises, we recognize, it at, we recognize academic excellence by honoring those students who graduate from the college with an outstanding academic record. Students, students may graduate cum laude, magna cum laude, or summa cum laude. To achieve summa cum laude requires a minimum grade point average of 3.8 out of a possible four. But this year, we have a number of graduates who have earned a perfect record, a straight A average, for their entire career at BCC. Will all those graduates please stand? 4.0 graduates. Congratulations. Congratulations. The 
The Honors Program at Bristol Community College offers qualified students with enhanced opportunities for academic enrichment. These students have met the graduation requirements of the Commonwealth Honors Program and are recognized today as Commonwealth Honors Program Scholars. Will, the pro will these scholars please stand and be recognized? Commonwealth Honors Program Scholars. Thank you. One of our straight-A graduates, 4.0, is Roy Ashton III of Fall River. <clears throat> Roy has been selected class valedictorian. Roy graduates today with his associate's degree in liberal arts professional option. A resident of Fall River, he was a guest at the 1998 Bristol Community College commencement ceremony. The events of the day and the words of the 1998 valedictorian inspired him to begin his college education that fall. Not unlike many of our students, he faced the difficult challenges of juggling his school responsibilities with a full-time work schedule and the active lives of his two children, Molly and Nathan, who sit proudly in the audience today. Mr. Ashton will transfer to the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth and plans to become an elementary school teacher. It is my pleasure to introduce the class valedictorian, Roy Ashton III. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. It's a beautiful view from up here. Good morning and welcome fellow graduates, platform guests, faculty, staff, family, and friends. I'd like to take this opportunity to offer my congratulations to the other candidates who are vying for the honor of valedictorian. I may not know who you are, but I know your academic excellence should also be applauded here today. Throughout my life, I never sought the spotlight. In fact, I was content to remain in the shadow of obscurity and mediocrity. That part of my life changed as I began to succeed at Bristol Community College. Today, as this year's valedictorian, I am not only honored but also compelled to stand here and recognize the accomplishments of the 2004 graduating class at Bristol Community College. It is my hope here today that our accomplishments will inspire and motivate others to continue their education. That our accomplishments will propel us to even greater accomplishments in our lives. And that through our accomplishments, we bestow the proper recognition unto those who have also made this day possible. A few years ago, I attended a graduation ceremony here for a friend. I remember gazing at the smiles and the joy on the graduates' faces and the relief. I admired the pride on the faces of the family members and the parents and the relief. <laughs> on that day, I witnessed just some of the rewards of a college education. Inspired by the events of that day, I made a commitment to continue my education. St. Francis of Assisi wrote, Start by doing what is possible, then do what is necessary, and suddenly you are doing the impossible. For those of you out there seeking positive change in your lives and dreaming of a better tomorrow, start by doing what is possible and introduce yourself to Bristol Community College. Tell them the class of 2004 sent you. Once you're here, allow the college to help you discover your interests and tap into your potential. Suddenly, your dreams will be realized, and you, like me, will be doing what you once thought impossible. Now I'd like to address the 2004 graduating class. Congratulations. How are we feeling out there, guys? Yeah. Today is a celebration of success. In each one of you, there is an individual story of success, and there are stories that must continue beyond today. As you are all aware by now, success comes at a price. It begins with a commitment and is achieved through hard work, sacrifice, and adjustments. The reward is what we are feeling today. 
Whether we are receiving a degree or a certificate today, our accomplishments here have laid the foundation for our future success. At times in life when we struggle and question our abilities, we can now reflect on our accomplishments here to help restore belief in ourselves. With our newfound success comes both opportunity and responsibility. The time has come now to utilize the skills and the knowledge that we have gained here so that we can be prosperous, responsible, and productive leaders of our community. Eleanor Roosevelt once said that the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. All of you have believed in your dreams, and now the future is yours. As you accept this responsibility, remember that we are all role models. Our children will emulate tomorrow what we do today. Set, set high standards for yourselves, and you will set high standards for our children. Education has been our path to success, and it should continue to be a part of our lives. Education has no boundaries and knows no limits. Through education, we can scale to new levels of awareness. That awareness will usher in the virtues that will improve our lives and the lives of those around us. I urge all of you to continue exploring the vast scope of education. All of you have inspired me to be up here today. It is truly an honor to represent this graduating class. This celebration of success also belongs to Bristol Community College. In 1965, Bristol Community College opened its doors and the eyes of a community. Since then, the college has consistently fulfilled its mission by providing academic and career preparation for its students. For me and many others, the college has far exceeded its primary goals and requirements. I've been most impressed by the personal touch that I have felt from the first day that I arrived here. President Sprague's passion for education and excellence trickles throughout this campus and into everyone I've had the pleasure of meeting. The college has been recognized by the Massachusetts Board of Education as one of three high-performing community colleges in the entire state. No small achievement. Recently in the Boston Globe, the college was referred to as a model two-year college. All of us here today should be proud that our community is blessed with a respected institution of higher learning that is run by a highly qualified and dedicated cast of individuals. We are also joined here today by family, friends, and faculty who deserve to be honored for being part of our success. They believed in us and they encouraged us, all in the interest of our success. Make sure you let them know today how much you appreciate their love and their support. My time here is over, and it has been life-changing. I hope yours has been as well. On behalf of the graduating class, I would like to express our lifelong gratitude to Bristol Community College. On a personal note, I'd like to thank my cousin Chris and his entire family. I need to give a shout out to my friends in the fitness center. Yeah. I uh, want to say I love you, Mom. A special thanks to an inspiring young lady, Sue Raposo. And of course, I need to thank the two people who make my life complete, my son, Nathan, and my daughter, Molly. Thank you. I have one final thought for the graduating class. As you cross the stage today, be sure to pause and take a look around. It's a beautiful view from up here. Etch this memory in your mind because it is a moment of victory for all of you and one that should be everlasting. Thank you. Congratulations, class of 2004. Thank you, Roy, for those inspiring words. 
I'd like now to introduce Christy Verissimo, Vice President of the 2003-2004 Bristol Community College Student Senate and a member of the class of 2004. Christy? Thank you, President Sprague. Congratulations, everyone. And I just have to give one more recognition. Nine kids? Nine kids. I really have to applaud you. I really do. Each year, the Bristol Community College Student Senate honors one exemplary faculty member who has affected students' education and their lives in a significant way. Nominations requiring detailed information about the educator's role are solicited from all potential graduating students. This year's recipient is Mr. John Tormey, Assistant Professor of Psychology and the Coordinator of BCC's Thanatology Program. Honored guests, friends and family under the tent, friends and family in the grandstand of the afterlife who dreamt of this day and now visit us with their pride and presence. And of course, our graduates, robed and ready for the new challenge. I could have gone two routes with this little talk. I was thinking of Rodney Dangerfield and back to school. And he said, get out of here as fast as you can. Huh? It's a tough world out there. Huh? Go home and live off your parents for the rest of your life. Uh, uh, I won't go that route. Hmm? But I'll tell you the story of Farmer Brown, who was harvesting his crops in Rehoboth when the village pastor stopped by. And as they looked over the magnificent fields of the corn and tomatoes and myriad rows of fresh vegetables, the pastor praised him and said, Farmer Brown, you and God indeed did a fine job. With the startled response, God, he said, I did all the work. You ought to see what these fields look like when God had them on his own. Well, I look out at the field of dreams before me as you harvest the degrees and the certificates, which are the rewards of endless hours of labor and personal sacrifice. You know that word sacrifice in the Latin is sacrificio, to make holy. And this is a holy day. And it is so because so many people did so much for you, sacrificed in time and energy and, and money to make this day possible. So I want you to be proud of yourself and enjoy this day of self-esteem, but realize as well that what you've done for yourself, you've also given a gift to this community because education has a consequence and requires a contribution. And I'm reminded of one of my most memorable summers when I was in college. It was with Fanny. Now Fanny was an elephant in the Slater Park Zoo in Pawtucket. Every Monday morning, I would take the dump truck to Central Falls to pick up all the stale bread from Gorman's Bakery. And then I'd come back and proceed it to feed it to Fanny. And once she had digested that bread. I took a pitchfork and picked up those loaves, hmm? brought it to the back of the park, mulched it with the leaves, hmm? and then wheelbarrowed it to all the flower beds. And you know, those geraniums could see me coming. <laughs> they sparked up because they knew the growth, the beauty that they would enjoy with Fanny's contributions. <laughs> and the moral of that story for you is this. For a little bit of dough, yeah. you digested a vast amount of ideas and experiences at BCC. 
We moused you. And now it's time for you to go out and fertilize this community huh? with your contributions of knowledge. You know, the last lecture is a commission to leave you with some last assignments. And I call upon my own discipline to help me, and that's thanatology. Don't worry if you don't know what it is. They still spell, misspell, and the word processing. <laughs> it's been around a bit, but BCC was a pioneer in this new field. And we make the distinction in that field between the word eulogy and elegy. Eulogy comes from the Greek eulogos, which means having an easy word for people while they're living, when they have the ears to hear you. Elegy is a lament for those who have passed. And perhaps we've misrepresented the word eulogy because we only praise people after they've passed. So this is your first assignment. I want you to become a eulogizer. I want you to say those easy words every single day. They're so free, they're so easy. Words like, I love you, we don't have them enough. You look terrific, even if you do have a bad hair day, huh? <laughs> Congratulations. Huh? I'm sorry. I forgive you. And let's learn from Tony Soprano, huh? Let's forgive, boy. Huh? <laughs> let's go on. <laughs> Please say the words easy and often, huh? so that you'll never have regrets when indeed an elegy someday will be required. Huh? Your second assignment, I prelude with the words, the saddest words of quilt and pen are it could have been. Please take charge of your life. Huh? Do not give it over to addictions or negative people. Don't wait for lottery and luck to fulfill you. Generate your life with the power of the spirit within. Huh? If you're in thanatology, you've got to be spiritual. Huh? The Reiki, well, my massage therapist, huh? you know what that is. Hmm? Rei, spirit, ki, energy. Huh? Generate your life from the power that's within you. Aspiration, inspiration. Perspiration. <laughs> That's what dreams are made of when they have that one word in the heart of the all, the word spirit. As you take care of your bodies, never forget the spirit. Bodies have obs planned obsolescence. They age and they die. Spirits are forever. I'm going to give you a reading assignment, my little favorite book. Jonathan Livingston Seagull. It's a book you take to the beach. And as you bake your bodies, I want you to refresh your spirit. For as Jonathan says, the gull, the spirit, who flies highest, sees the farthest, and sees the deepest. Live now in a way you want to be remembered so that your elegy will not be a lament, but indeed a legacy. For our resume will eventually become our obituary. And it's not the flash in cash that's important, huh? but how you spent that dash between birth and death. Huh? Live a life that you'll have no regrets. In the final tally of human existence, Robert Louis Stevenson probably said it well. That person is a success in life, who has lived well, laughed often, and loved much, who leaves this world better than they found it, who never lacked appreciation or failed to express it, who looked for the best in others and gave the very best they had. Your third assignment. You all want to be the full package, don't you? In psychology, the first 
Instruction is the three domains of human learning. And hopefully, BCC has not only prepared you for a career, but has educated the total person huh, that'll never stop craving learning long after you leave here. One of the first domains is the cognitive. You traded tuition for ideas. You hated to part with it, didn't you? Huh? Well, look at the ideas you have. You never say no to an idea, even if you don't want to embrace it. Huh? Collect them as many as you can, because thinking is connecting ideas. Huh? Reasoning is deducting ideas. Get as many as you can. Huh? And the more you have, the better you communicate, the better you socialize. Are you boring? It's because you don't have ideas, is John G. Aussie's weather factor. The only thing you talk about hmm? is everything, whatever. Huh? You'll never be shy. You'll never be reticent. If you have ideas to share and to inquire about. Huh? The second domain is affective. Appreciation, respect, and sensitivity. I hope you took the opportunity while you were here these years, whether it be two or 30, yeah. to learn from our diverse culture. Hmm? Fall River, New Bedford, this whole area, it's like the whole world in a couple of miles. Huh? And I hope that you've learned from so many other people and that piece of tapestry that they give to the wholeness of truth. You know, prejudice is never an attribute of an educated person. And it's said that people don't care what you know until they know that you care. And so I'm asking you huh, to learn tolerance, to have tolerance, and have kindness, and add it to that GPA that you own. And psychomotor, these are skills. You'll never feel inferior and dependent if you have skills in life. Huh? Alfred Adler says it best. Huh? We don't want to go through life with an inferiority complex. Be wary of those people because they'll always try to get you some way, somehow. Huh? So I invite all my students to focus on one skill every year. Just pick it out and do it all the time. And by God, by the time I meet you in 10 years, You'll be nice to be around, huh? and people will know what to give you for Christmas. Huh? If you're still getting socks and underwear, investigate. You don't have a life. Huh? <laughs> Learn how to swim. Look at the ocean we got here. No one in Fall River, New Bedford, <laughs> should know not how to swim, play tennis, cook, build birdhouse, plant a garden, and for some of you, I hope you learned while you were here to put a car between two white lines at BCC. <laughs> That's a skill. Every man should know what a woman can do, and every woman should know what a man can do. It's not gender, it's self-reliance. Just a brief word about Snoop subdivisions. You know, language. I hope you're not going to make Snoop Dogg your linguist, huh? Chisel with the whistle, huh? Let's get the English language back. It is. <laughs> language is our communicator. Words inspire and counsel and express feelings. So I'm asking you to keep learning those new words. Use them all the time. Huh? Get exciting in your language. And so that not only will you be educated, but you will sound educated. Huh? One last thing, history. I love history. Huh? Of course, our president has his degree in history, so it's always nice to get a couple of brownie points when you're up here. Huh? <laughs> I hope Smarty Jones wins a triple crown today, do you?
Let's go, Smarty! <laughs> but you know, there'd be no Smarty Jones if there wasn't the secretary. That's his grandfather. Did you know that? You gotta put things in context, huh? Never forget from where you came from. You know, we're having fun today, but 60 years ago, June 5th, 1944, people like you huddled in amphibious craft in the belly of airplanes to paratroop. 29,000 Americans died that day, and we should know that. We should know that on that beach of Normandy, huh, we can celebrate on June 5th, 9, 2004, because people sacrificed and gave up their lives. In your own and personal life, I know you feel you've worked hard, but others have worked hard for you as well. And so when you come up here, put your life in history. Your grandparents, maybe long since gone, huh? For all the days that everybody did things for you all through the years, that kindergarten teacher, thank her or him. Because if she didn't give you the excitement of education, you wouldn't be here today, maybe, huh? So many people to thank, huh? Put your life in history, and you'll always have loyalty. You'll always have appreciation. My final assignment, I just want you to be happy. Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> My dad used to tell me about the 4-H club of happiness. You had to be humble. You had to be honest. You had to have a sense of humor. And you have to hang with good people. I hope you join the club. And so go off today. Huh? You're going to have some parties. And you sent out those invoices. I'm sorry, invitations. <laughs> and people will come and give you gifts. So I want you to put a silly smile on your face and dance as if no one's looking at you. And I want you to go out there and love as if you've never been hurt in your life. And I want this day, of course, to be the first day of the rest of your life. And you live enough of them, one day you'll be right. It will be the last day of your life. <laughs> but you'll have no regrets. And that's the greatest pain of life. It could have been. Start it today. Take that challenge. My final word, and that I give it over to Socrates and his idiom. All truly educated people know, and I hate to deflate you, but now you can say, now I know that I do not know. <laughs> if you're truly educated, you don't know anything. That's why you're going out to learn more. The more we learn, the more we realize how much we have to keep learning. And I hope above all else that BCC has given you the gift of a curious mind that will never stop craving and absorbing learning. Every person's a book. Every experience is a challenge. And whatever you have in this life, you take to the next. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to give tribute to your life. God bless you and all the people you love. Professor John Torme. This year, we are honoring two of our outstanding retired faculty members, Veronica McConnell and Edgar McGarvey, by designating them Professor Emeriti. Faculty peers select these individuals for this honor. 
This is an honorary title which corresponds to the position last held during active service. It comes from the Latin merer, to merit, and is in recognition of meritorious service. I am pleased to introduce Dr. Gerald Magnin, Professor of Mathematics, who will read the citation for Professor Emerita, Veronica McConnell. Dr. Magnin. Veronica McConnell, Professor Emerita of Mathematics an early leader in efforts to assess student readiness for college mathematics, you helped design developmental courses to prepare students for the rigors of college level work. A pioneer in the use of computer technologies to illustrate mathematical concepts, you excelled at bringing all levels of mathematics within reach of those in your classroom. Your devotion to learners and to their mastery of content came to life came to life through your fascinating real-world examples. Whether teaching basic arithmetic or advanced theories, you led your students through the mysteries of your subject and to su success. Bristol Community College, Fall River, Massachusetts, June 5th, 2004. Congratulations, Ronnie. Thank you, Jerry. Congratulations, Ronnie. <laughs> Congratulations, Ronnie. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. I am deeply honored to have been selected by my peers for this merit award. Thank you for bestowing the award on me. Now I'd like to ask Dr. Magnin to return to honor our other Professor Emeritus, Edgar McGarvey. Okay. Uh, Edgar McGarvey, Professor Emeritus of Social Science and Government. Thoughtful, challenging, and insightful, you made your classroom an incubator where your students could explore and examine the thorny issues of our society. Never, con never content for students merely to master facts and figures, you engage them in debate and discussion, expecting them to think and to express cogent and considered views. Through your classroom activity and your activism in college affairs and governance, you provided your students with a role model as one who continually, continually engaged in life and learning. Fall River, Massachusetts, June 5th, 2004. Congratulations, Edgar. Thank you, Gary. Congratulations, Edgar. Oh, I got it. Congratulations, Edgar. Oh, <laughs> it's a time to say thanks to, first of all, family here today. My father, Walter, who's out there, who will be 92 in a couple of weeks. My beautiful daughter, Kirsten, the side of whom today warms my heart as it has for 30 years. My, my darling wife, Sally, who's been with me every day and has made half of my lectures. Sally's daughter, Kristen, her husband, Reza, and her uh, granddaughter, Zachary Sarkarati, all here today. Sons, Christopher in New Hampshire, and Jonathan in California, and their wonderful families. Dear friends in the history department, my line supervisors, Ray LaVirtue and Dave Feeney. I never once had to look for my back with those two working with me. And that's important when you teach politics. The professional staff and classified people at BCC who are just wonderful and help me in so many ways. I, I was never on time with anything and they never held it against me. And finally, the students. I, I imagine close to 8,500 students in the 30 years I worked here who wrote me about 6,000 papers, 19,500 blue books, 
thirty thousand weekly quizzes twelve thousand lectures they attended and averaging thirty students in a class that comes out to over three hundred and eighty thousand hours that students listen to me here at bcc discounting for those who dozed off and it's time then for me to stop talking and to say thank you for the honor i really appreciate it I would like to now introduce Mr. Richard Wolfson, Chair of the Board of Trustees, who will present the 2004 Bristol Community College Distinguished Citizen Award. Chairman Wolfson. Each year, the Board of Trustees honors an individual who has made a distinguished contribution in the field of health, education, business, labor, government, or the arts, and whose character and achievements have enriched the life of our community. This year, the board has selected Dr. Irving Fratkin, founder of the Citizen Scholarship Foundation of America. Dr. Fratkin, please come forward. The citation reads as follows. The Bristol Community College Board of Trustees names Dr. Irving Fratkin, Founder Citizen Scholarship Foundation of America, Distinguished Citizen for 2004. A champion of higher education and its power to change lives and communities, you captured our attention and our hearts with your innovative Dollars for Scholars Community Scholarship Foundation. From a modest start in 1958, you have engaged cities and towns, states and our nation in the cause of raising money to enable students to go to college. More than just a scholarship program, your, your system enables communities to raise funds for their own students with the clear expectation that those students would pay it back once they start to reap the benefits of their education. You understood that by giving something back, students would become engaged in their own success. Your passion and your clear-eyed commitment to securing the means to attain an education have changed the world. The movement you sparked has raised to date one billion dollars and helped one million students. Those students have moved into our communities empowered with the ability to make them better places. Your vision and your foresight your energy and your beliefs demonstrate just how much one man can do. Given this day, the 5th of June, 2004, at Fall River, Massachusetts, signed John J. Sprague, President, and Richard Wolfson, Chair, Board of Trustees. As you can see, this is one of the proudest moments of my life. This is a moment that I will cherish always. Thank you so much for this honor bestowed upon me. I now present also uh, Chairman Richard Wilson to authorize the conferral of degrees. Chairman of the Board of Trustees. Graduates, I'm glad to have this opportunity to greet you and congratulate you on this most important day in your life. Your hard work and dedication have brought you to a point where you now have the key to a new door. This door can open new opportunities for you, whether it be a job, a career improvement, a new career track, or a transfer to continue your academic pursuits. You've been supported by an outstanding faculty, a devoted staff here at BCC, friends, family, and fellow students. 
but it is your effort and your persistence which have brought you to this point may you enjoy success and happiness always as chair of the bristol community college board of trustees i am honored to authorize bristol community college under the powers invested in the board by section ten chapter fifteen a of the general laws of the commonwealth to award the associate in arts associate in science associate in applied science degrees and appropriate certificates to those candidates who in the judgment of the college have successfully met the requirements for graduation Now, David Feeney, Executive Dean of Academic Affairs and Enrollment Services, will present the candidates. Would the candidates for graduation please rise? I have the honor to present these candidates for the degrees of Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, Associate in Applied Science, and for the certificates. I certify on behalf of the faculty that those receiving their degrees today have completed all the requirements for each degree or certificate as set forth by the college and the Board of Trustees. Thank you, Dean Feeney. It is now time to award the degree. <clears throat> Will the first row of graduates please come to the right side of the stage? The rest of the candidates may be seated. Graduates will cross the stage in the order indicated on the program. We ask family and friends please to move away from the front of the stage to keep the way clear for our graduates and other members of the audience. A professional photographer will capture the graduate as he or she crosses the stage, and I will be available in the Commonwealth College Center for other photos after the ceremony. Please withhold your applause until all the degrees and certificates have been awarded. I don't know why we bother saying that. Uh, <laughs> I am pleased to announce the graduates of Art Transfer. Grimaldi Baez. <laughs> Melissa Amy Beamer, magna cum laude. Jacqueline Lee Call, cum laude. David Anthony Casas. Joel Cordero, magna cum laude. Heidi Finn. Deborah Maya Hansen, summa cum laude. Nicole Mandel. Doreen K. Roy, summa cum laude. Michelle A. Roy, magna cum laude, also general studies. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Business Administration Korea. Dawn Marie Allen. Jennifer L. Andrade, cum laude. Daniel J. Benoit, magna cum laude. Amanda Lynn Burgesson, cum laude. Lyndon J. Blakesley, summa cum laude. Diane Ellen Brander, cum laude. Vicki L. Carrero, magna cum laude. Bethany J. Cagini. Arthur J. DeBraga, cum laude. Paula Dias. Jennifer Marie Dubois, summa cum laude. Jenny Lynn Fairclough, summa cum laude. Nelson Faraz. Jessica L. Fortin, cum laude. K. 
Carol Leona Magnan Frezza. Stephen Goulart. Adam J. Gracie. Sarah Gimon. Deborah M. Hamilton, cum laude, also general studies. Latoya Jones, magna cum laude. Gina M. Howie. G June M. Cooey. Amanda L. Lopes. Raymond John Machado, summa cum laude. Adelino M. Masal, summa cum laude. Goretti Lee Medeiros, magna cum laude. Jennifer G. Medeiros. <laughs> Shannon Elizabeth Mercer. Edmund E. Morin, Jr., cum laude. Susan Sequera Plough, magna cum laude. John Quinlan, summa cum laude. Nancy Raposo. Rusko Ruskoff, cum laude. Julianne Salomon. Jessica Lee Silva. Anicia Malicio Sores. Deborah J. Souza, magna cum laude. Jason Souza. Anthony George Spiritos. Sandra M. Tavares, magna cum laude. Stacy L. Vileo, magna cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Business Administration Transfer. Georges M. Apka. Robley Peter Adam. Renee Ann Bastrash. William Bohensky, cum laude. Sharon Borges, cum laude. Sonia Braga. Jessica Amelia Calderon, cum laude. Lisa Ann Cordoza, summa cum laude. Jessica Lynn Como, magna cum laude. Nadine Marie De Silva, summa cum laude. And Jeffrey A. Delgado, cum laude. Porna Damasina, magna cum laude. Sonia Patricia Duvall. Teresa Gomes, cum laude. Nicole M. Hood, cum laude. Kelly Johnson. Deborah S. Coppets, summa cum laude. Nino Lassin. Jason Brilliant, summa cum laude. Ada M. Lazat, summa cum laude. Crystal Ann Martin, summa cum laude. Kimri Mias. Justin Matthew Medeiros, magna cum laude. 
Andrea B. Messenger, cum laude. Tan Tanya Marie Oliver, cum laude. Blake Dull Douglas Paiva, cum laude. Rachel A. Perez, summa cum laude. Jennifer A. Raposa, cum laude. E. Gildas Robert, magna cum laude. John M. Sakara Jr., cum laude. Christine Smith. Nick A. Tabor. Musa L. Traore. Paula J. Turcott. Erica J. R. Wilson. Janet Williams. I am pleased to announce the graduates of child care. Kristen Marie Child, cum laude. Sonia Marie Frittato. Tonya Marie Pereira. Sarah E. Perry, magna cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of clinical laboratory science. Rebecca Cody. Jennifer M. D'Souza, magna cum laude. Timothy S. Poole. Jane M. Rigo Caliph, summa cum laude. Jesse Lynn D'Amico. I am pleased to announce the graduates of communications. Shale M. Colantonio, summa cum laude. Derek Joel Furtado. Danielle Marie Gauthier, cum laude. Michael G. Pattister, magna cum laude. Randy C. Ponce. Daniel R. Schrader. Deborah Ann Simos, magna cum laude. Jason Ega Trenholm, cum laude. Diane Viveras, cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Computer Information Systems, James Robert Armstrong, Jr. Kyle J. Blanchard, summa cum laude. Ruben J. Patello, magna cum laude. Megan Gabral, magna cum laude. Elizabeth P Monte Carrero, cum laude. Michael W. Costa, cum laude. Clifton C. De Silva. Wendy Lorraine Duchamp, cum laude. Kathleen Fonseca, cum laude. Kyle Thomas Cabala, summa cum laude. Christopher A. Menad, summa cum laude. Laura D. Mendoza, cum laude. Robert E. Monis, cum laude. Richard Payer, cum laude. Robert Prescott, cum laude. Michael L. Skelliger, cum laude. Scott F. Travers, cum laude. I am pleased to announce the, gra ma announce the graduates of criminal justice. John Francis Broderick, cum laude. Brian Gabral, cum laude. Brian T. Cavallo. Derek De, Mon uh, De Mendoza. 
Pamela A. Gallant, magna cum laude. Lava A. Gilbert. Ryan J. Grisella. Kathleen L. Gridley, magna cum laude. Evan Lee Kershaw. Crystal LaPrice. Melissa DeMello Lopes, also certificate in thanatology. Heather A. Medeiros. Derek Mendes. Michelle Mercado. David M. Moco, magna cum laude. Michael J. Noon, summa cum laude. Crystal Pannoni, summa cum laude. Jeffrey Parker. Isabel E. Gonzalez Pereira. Jason Pimentel. Arthur Pires, cum laude. Jacob Ryan Raposo, cum laude. Corey Reed, cum laude. Caitlin Elizabeth Reardon, cum laude. Jeffrey T. Sanecki, magna cum laude, also Fire Science Investigation Specialist Certificate. Andrew Paul Souza, magna cum laude. Ryan Anthony Souza, magna cum laude. Janet E. Valeri. Linda Vicente, magna cum laude. Victoria L. Wartito. Joseph Wubenson. I am pleased to announce the graduates of culinary arts. Kerry Rose Anderson, cum laude. Mark Andrew De Silva, cum laude. Melvin Germain Frazier. Nicole Ray Holden, cum laude. Katie Mae Hopkins. Robert E. Lebrecht, Jr. Derek A. Macedo, cum laude. Wendy Lynn Mello. Michael G. Mendonca, cum laude. Also business administration career. Jared Stanley Parada. Matthew J. Raposa. Paul Santos. Richard A. Santos. Kyle Scanlon. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Deaf Studies. Stephanie E. Blakeman, cum laude. Artist Sue Chapman, magna cum laude. Catherine Obara, summa cum laude, also a certificate in thanatology and general studies. I am pleased to announce the graduates of dental hygiene. Mindy Aruda, cum laude. Kelly Gabral, magna cum laude. Stephanie Lynn Clark, cum laude. Rebecca Taburge Correa, magna cum laude. Sandra Carrero, magna cum laude. Ashley Eileen Curl, summa cum laude. Kimberly Corin Fournier. Brandon R. Fuller, cum laude. Tanya M. Guzman, cum laude. Andrea J. McShane, cum laude. Amy McCarran Murray, magna cum laude. Amy Melissa O'Brien. Teresa R. Pilato, cum laude. 
Lisa Ponce. Catherine Sermatis, cum laude. Deborah Souza. Maria Rowena Tan, cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of early childhood education. Rebecca Lee Anderson, cum laude. Coretta Corbin Bliss, summa cum laude. Jacqueline J. Gaspar. Lisa A. Gathers. Kimberly Ann Green, cum laude. Lori Pelletier, cum laude. Cynthia Marie Riggins, cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of elementary education. Ashley R. Braz, cum laude. Deborah Correa Carrero Travis. Jennifer L. I. R. Cartier, cum laude. Gloribet Sintron. Jennifer D. DeCosta, cum laude. Ann Margaret David, magna cum laude. Leanne M. Diago. Jessica Duran. Jennifer A. Gonzalez. Donna L. Gray, cum laude. Patricia Ann Lake, cum laude, also business administration transfer. Nicole E. LaRoche. Nicole Morse, cum laude. Pauline Paquin, cum laude. Kelly Madeline Pimentel. Elizabeth Reynolds, magna cum laude. Masha M. Santos. Susanna Bosworth Trimble, summa cum laude. Beth D. Turcott, summa cum laude. Matthew Joseph Vargas. Susie Marie Vieira. I am pleased to announce gra the graduates of engineering technology. Paul M. Branco. Anton D. Duart, Jr., magna cum laude. David James Vizina. Daniel Robert Freitas. Christopher L. Fuller, summa cum laude, also general studies. Gabrielle J. Gray. Christopher Texera. Daniel J. Vedabankur. Christopher Vasconcellos. I am pleased to announce the graduates of engineering transfer, transfer. Martin Scott Blankenhorn, summa cum laude. Aaron Francis Chacoin, cum laude. Kyle J. Fournier. Michael Joseph Mendes, Jr. Andrew J. Souza. I am pleased to announce the graduates of General Studies, Jessica Albert, Wayne Botus, Matthew Ryan Boucher,
Andre Breka, Magna Cum Laude, Barbara Whitney Brigham, Magna Cum Laude, Antonio F. Cabral, Anna Paula Sequera Mello, Summa Cum Laude, Katia Sividini, Summa Cum Laude, Sandra L. Crowell, Marcy De Diane DeRocha, Stacy Olivia De Oliveira, Kerry Ann Fournier, Dawn Gagnon, Joseph S. Gomes, Kathy Harding, Magna Cum Laude, also Certificate in Thanatology. Evangeline Noel Hebert, summa cum laude. Danica L. Hawley. Scott Jarvis, summa cum laude. Tony Ann Kerman, cum laude. Justin Kingsley, summa cum laude. Robert J. Krozik. <laughs> Celia A. Lima, Magna Cum Laude. Lorna Lopez. Jane Marie Martin. Bruce David Miller. Oh Regina Bridget Moore. Ross Oliveira. James K. Owen, summa cum laude. Melissa Maureen Pacheco. Timothy Pessa. Michael D. Ramos, magna cum laude. Christopher J. Rymouth. Celine Marie Sariva. Teresa M. Soul, Magna Cum Laude. Also a certificate in Thanatology. Rachel Rothman, Summa Cum Laude. Randall C. Rothwell, Cum Laude. Michelle A. Shaw. Jackie Joe Tavares, also electronic and multimedia communications. Emily K. Tao, Magna Cum Laude. David William Veloso. Thomas J. Volma. Alicia Marie Wampla. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Healthcare Information. Donna Morgan, Magna Cum Laude. Don M. Muniz, Summa Cum Laude. Stephanie L. Raposa, Cum Laude. Janet L. Roy, Summa Cum Laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Human Services. Justin Barboza. Crystal Lee Bonalevitz, Magna Cum Laude, also a certificate in Thanatology. Maria E. Sistodio. Elizabeth Doherty. Linda M. Drowen. Virginia Jean Horta, Cum Laude. Doreen Kuth. Stacy Lynn Lewis. Evangeline Victoria Miller Smith. Melissa Pimentel, cum laude. Melinda C. Quintel. Lori E. Reed, summa cum laude. Soka Sambun, Magna Cum Laude. 
Gail Y. Scott, Jennifer B. Spencer, cum laude, Rebecca Lynn Strong, magna cum laude, Lisa D. Swanson, cum laude, Sarah M. Vargas, April Lee Vieira, Susan Marissa Villar. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Liberal Arts. Elizabeth Viveros Aguia. James Almeida, magna cum laude. Kim Maria Andrade, magna cum laude. <laughs> Roy A. Ashton III, summa cum laude. Sandra T. Baker, magna cum laude, also Thanatology Certificate. Lindsay A. Barker, cum laude. Amy Rose Boyvin, magna cum laude. Daniel C. Brown. Jason M. Campbell. Lindsey Jean Chapman, magna cum laude. Katie Conboy. Jerry De Silva, magna cum laude. Kiyomi Donnelly, summa cum laude. Elizabeth C. Doyle. Lisa Marie Farrier. Nancy Freitas Fernandez Cum Laude. Antonia Reza Fernandez, Magna Cum Laude. Eileen Denora Freeman. Lance R. Gagnon. Stacy Ann Hebert, Kathleen Marie Hunt, John Stanley Kulig, magna cum laude, Ruth Ann Lydia Lewis, magna cum laude, Ellen Marie Marshall, summa cum laude, Jesse Paul Martin, Nathan Mayer, James A. Norman, cum laude, Carolyn R. Oliveira, magna cum laude, Edrin Osmani, magna cum laude, Jason A. Pacheco, Kelly Michelle Paradis, magna cum laude, Corey E. Pereira, magna cum laude. Mata M. Pimentel, cum laude. Jennifer Marie Poisson. Jennifer Lynn Reagan. Teresa Catherine Rosmaya, magna cum laude. Angela T. Rossi. Matthew Sardina, cum laude. Ashley L. Silva, summa cum laude. Also Thanatology Certificate. Kimberly Souza. Matthew John Stubbs. Ashley Tavares. Melanie Lynn Tavares. Elaine M. Tisdale Asalian, summa cum laude. Terry A. Terigny, summa cum laude. Mary Margaret, Margaret Urbanic, summa cum laude. Christy Marie Verasamo, Simo, magna cum laude. Amanda M. Wilkinson, 
Sarah Beth Willett, summa cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of nursing. Marlene Maria Aguia, cum laude. Virginia M. Inacarico. Magna cum laude. Patricia F. Babbitt. Jennifer Bauer. Melissa J. Beauchamp. Monica I. Gabral. Valerie Diane Casper, magna cum laude. Deborah Lynn Chaperon. Kevin Brian DeRosa Jr., cum laude. Heather Marie Dankovich. Colleen Marie Diaz. Rebecca Diaz, cum laude. Aaron E. Foster, cum laude. Kesia Furtado, magna cum laude. Shana Beth Hebert, cum laude. Nicole A. LaRue, cum laude. Casey A. LaRose, cum laude. Catherine E. Lavoy, magna cum laude. Isabel Marx. Corey Ann Marshall, also Thanatology Certificate. Kelly Jean Martin. Patricia Gale Martin. Tammy M. Mello, cum laude. Anna M. Miranda. Shannon R. Montigny. Sarah L. O'Toole, summa cum laude. Sue A. Wimet. Priscilla Marie Piva. Kate Noel Pritchard. Maria Roy Ramos. Melissa M. Raposo, cum laude. Chin H. Robinson. Terry Lynn Sprague, cum laude. Alyssa S. Sylvia, magna cum laude. Sandra A. Sylvia, magna cum laude. Tracy Alana Washburn. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Occupational Therapy Assistant, Jessanne M. Burgess. Mary Ann Donovan. Stephanie A. Franco, magna cum laude. Tara Michelle Guyard. Josephine L. Gomes. Amanda Lee Hankins. Jessica Bonnie LaRochelle. Crystal R. Larrabee, cum laude. Teresa C. Reese, cum laude. Tammy Schillenberg, cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Office Administration, Melissa, <laughs> Melissa L. Barboza, Mandy Lynn Bolger, off, also Office Technology and Office Administration Certificate, Tanya Marie Casey, magna cum laude, Asia Marie Colon, Christina Constantino. Elizabeth Correa Keyless. Lizanette Jasmine Feliciano. 
Jenny Lee Froyas. Melissa Algiesta. Amy Jean Heber. Beth Ann LeBanc, LeBlanc. Elizabeth Kuna Leandro, cum laude. Danielle Ann McCormick. Tiffany Marie, Marie Medeiros. Lori A. Perry, Perry, magna cum laude. Denise Mayo, also medical transcription certificate. Lainey Quinton. Dalila Silva. <laughs> Melissa A. Turner. Marilyn Vega. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Early Childhood Education Certificate. Christine Marie Bailey. Nadine T. Corey. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Legal Office Administration Certificate. Valerie Lynn Capiello. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Medical Assisting Certificate. Jennifer Elisa Boyd. Tracy A. Lamb. Cheryl Manchester. Vanessa Pinto. Stephanie L. Reed. Aubrey Ann Rigo. Lavelia S. Santos. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Medical Coding Certificate, Dawn M. Jones. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Medical Office Certificate, Betty Jo Arlington. Corinne Ann Guerin. Suili Tavares. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Medical Transcription Certificate, Susan Abrantes. Dawn Elliott. Marcel Letourneau. Sandra Medeiros. Heather Tessero. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Office and Administration Certificate, Donna Luis Giampa. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Thanatology Certificate, Karen Marie Swim. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Tourism and Hospitality Certificate, Tara E. Elanen. Congratulations. Today, as you graduate from Bristol Community College, you become members of an active and esteemed organization, the Bristol Community College Alumni Association. Here to welcome you as full members of the association is Patricia Zukowski, class of 1973, president of the BCC Alumni Association. Thank you, Dr. Spraga. As president of the Bristol Community College Alumni Association, I am pleased to say congratulations, class of 2004. I am honored to extend best wishes from the 22,000 alumni that have preceded you. Sit back, you have earned your degree. Take a deep breath, look around. You did it, this is your day. A day to celebrate with your family, friends, and with us, your Bristol Community College family. Look to the future with your eyes wide open and your hopes and dreams in hand. 
Reflect on your education here with a smile. Let the world know you are a Bristol Community College graduate. Remember, as new ambassadors, to encourage others to attend Bristol Community College. And as you achieve your future goals, save a little time for your alma mater. For without you, we will not be able to continue our alumni mission, which is to provide services and assistance to all alumni through education, cultural, and fundraising activities. Stay in touch. Let us know how you are doing. We will share your success in our Bristol Community College newsletter briefings. I am pleased to thank you for your first gift to our alma mater. You have donated $500 to the library. Thank you. We are still continuing to receive donations. Thanks to all of you, and welcome to the Bristol Community College Alumni Association. I would like to take this time to honor the families of the graduates for the support and families and friends they have given to the graduates. Would the graduates please rise and give recognition to their families and friends. The support network. Before we have the recessional, I want to invite you to join us at the reception in the Commonwealth College Center immediately following these exercises. Graduates may pick up their diplomas in the College Center cafeteria. There will also be opportunities for photographs. Please remain standing until the recessional is complete and all the graduates have left. I now declare a close to these proceedings of the 37th Annual Commencement Exercises of Bristol Community College. Congratulations. Thank you.